So it is currently 6 a.m. We are heading to the Magic Kingdom for the our 50th anniversary of Haunted Mansion. We are leaving the brother at the hotel room because he was out late with friends. So we are actually heading to Magic Kingdom solo. Um, I'm excited. I'm hoping that everything works out because I don't. I don't exactly know when everything starts, to be honest. So I'm hoping that when I get here, I can give myself about a two hour, actually about an hour and a half cushion, if you might, um, for this because everything starts to go on sale at 7.45. So we are currently walking up. We just got to the transportation center. Um, literally the first row of, of heroes, which we are having to walk because there's no trams at the butt crack of dawn. So we are currently walking to back check. And then from there, I'm hoping the monorails are open. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, it's like crazy, it's like crazy dead. It's insane. I've never been here this early before. So, this is a new experience for me as well. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can get to the merch line early enough to where I can actually get the stuff that I need quick. And then I can also get what I want and then head out because I want to go home and go back to bed because I'm tired. <laughs> so we are back in the hotel room and it is now, I want to say like five hours later. Um, we, as soon as we got done with Magic Kingdom, um, which I didn't record anything at Magic Kingdom um, because it was insanity. Um, I've never seen such a big crowd of people before. I've never experienced something like that before. Um, I knew it was going to be crazy. I didn't know it was going to be that insane. Um, there was, not only was there a group of people there for the Madame Leota Pops and the other merchandise, but there was also the early morning hours that the Magic Kingdom was holding for that day, for today. And so there was like double the amount of people there. So they had us all, so as we walked in, half the entrance was for the early morning hours and the other half the entrance was for all the merch. And they had us all bunched into one area and every single step of the way, they had us bunched into an area. So we were constantly just basically like sardines the whole entire day. So it was kind of, it was exhausting because you were just constantly bumping people. You were constantly moving anything. You could barely move. So there wasn't really a lot of room to record. Um, I didn't want to stick my phone up in the air and basically try to record something and get in the way of people. So um, I kept it just, I just went in there and did what I needed to do and got out because the whole process took me about three hours. Um, I got to the transportation center around six in the morning and then I ended up leaving the park around 9.30 which um, I was going to stay and I was going to ride some stuff and maybe go meet some characters. But by the time that I got done with everything, I was exhausted. Um, I was I was drenched because it was humidity was insane. Um, so I basically was like, I got my stuff and then I headed out. Um, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, I did get what I went for. I did go in thinking they were going to be $39.99. So I didn't, I allotted a certain amount of money for the Funko Pops for this trip and I was going to get those. I was going to get, I think, three um, because there was myself and then two other people that needed them and I was gonna get them, get those. Well, we got some news in line at the, in line when we were in line for getting the Funko Pops. Um, they ended up being 1999 a piece. So I was able to get a couple more than I thought I was going to get. So we, how it basically worked was we got to the transportation center. They had us all queue up at the back check. 
and we all waited for for about 30 minutes at back check to get checked in and then we went straight to the monorail now at back check anybody that didn't have a bag got to go in first so people that were way in the back of the line got to go in before people that had been waiting there for 30 to 45 minutes because they had a bag which i didn't think it was i didn't think it was right um and then as soon as they opened up the gates they only allowed the resort monorail to be open they didn't have the, the, the ferry boat or anything else open so we had one monorail to get there so um we had to wait in line we had to queue up for that so that took about 15 minutes to get onto an actual monorail and then when we got to magic kingdom we had to queue up again at the entrance of the park so now we got through we got through the entrance where we scan our magic band and then as soon as you get through there they had us waiting at the very entrance of the park because they had us all on the left side or the right side the left side was for all the haunted mansion merch the right side was for the early morning hours the early access so as soon as we they opened the gates which i think they did at about 7 30 they opened up the gate at 7 30 and they had everybody move forward into it and then separate themselves into what um area they were going to go where well, they had a paddle for with a different color paddle for different areas because they had different merch in different parts of the, the, the park um so uh, obviously the biggest group was the funko pop so we went to the left side we had a green paddle we all walked down main street together in a in a, in a group um they had the Honda mansion merch on the left they had the early morning hours on the right we all went down main street and we all just divided early morning went to tomorrowland and we went to adventureland and then to frontierland um so we ended up at the adventureland entrance of the park so like the adventureland area we ended up there and we had to wait there for about 15 20 minutes again so basically it was a rope drop into adventureland and we waited there for about 15 minutes they finally they finally dropped the they finally dropped and opened up the area we walked in to um we walked right past swiss family robinson and we ended up going to the right after swiss family robinson past where that bathroom is right there and we actually started to queue up for the store so what happened was is that basically they corralled us into a single file line they had groups they had a whole entire giant area of eight people of eight wall like wide basically corral themselves into one single file line which ended up being where exactly where the entrance of Frontierland is. And then we the, we bought the Funko Pops in the Frontier trading, Frontierland trading post, um, which they had plenty. We, everybody in line, I was talking to plenty of people in line. We were all nervous that they were not, or there wasn't gonna be enough and that people, the, the flippers were gonna go in there and buy 10 of each. And then we were people that were back in line and us, we're, we're gonna get it one. So we were nervous about that, but luckily they did bring out enough Funko Pops where everybody could get exactly what they wanted. Um, they were a lot cheaper than we thought they were, so it ended up being a decent day. Um, I did end up, I did end up getting five of them. Um, I allotted one hundred and twenty dollars for Funko Pops, so I wanted to get what I could. Um, being that you pay basically the same price, but I got five instead of the three. And then I also got a discount. So I actually saved some on this as well. Um, so I was high about that. And then I was able to actually save, I actually had a little bit of money left over, um, to get some pins. Now this is a park exclusive. It was only here, um, in Orlando. And they also had one in California, in Disney California, yesterday. Now, from what I heard in the line, the people in California had to purchase a $350 individual ticket for a show or for a party that they held last night for people to go in and buy the Funko Pop. So not only did you have to buy the $350 ticket to get into the party, then you had to go and you had to buy your Funko Pop. There was apparently... $350 ticket it was a $350 ticket you had to buy and then people actually they actually ran out of Funko Pops in California so people had to pay this huge amount of money and then didn't even get the Funko Pop that they were hoping to get so apparently there was mass mayhem in California last night um, luckily they brought enough of them out for Orlando so we're we were good 
um, from what I was told by a team a lead is that there was 30,000 of them um, so I was excited about that I was excited to be able to get them um, I was able to pick one up for Miss Katie over at Over the Mooney. I was able to get one for um, Karen at Karen's USA Adventures. And then I got myself one. And then I have two more um, for myself. And then the last thing we got. Now I didn't want, I didn't want to spend a ton of money because I'm not a huge Haunted Mansion fan. Love some of the merch. Um, my dad's a huge fan. So I did get these specifically for him. Um, I ended up getting, these are new mystery pens that they, they opened up um, today. They released them today. They're an open edition. Um, they're a eight pin collection. There's two pins in each box. They're a mystery pin. There's a black bag in each, two black bags in here. Um, these glow in the dark. There's, again, there's eight different pins. Um, the Haunted Mansion. There's Haunted Mansion from each cart. Madame Leota, The Bride, Tombstones, Fright. So, so yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, there's some cool pins in there. See that, but I'm gonna open these up on a separate video um, and see what we get. Hopefully there's no doubles on here because that would be disappointing. These ended up, these were, four, these were $14.99 a piece. Um, I did everything in this bag. I got, ended up getting seven items. They were 20% off. Um, because we did get a discount, so I ended up saving about $25 on the total. So, we did spend a good amount of money, but we did save a lot of money. So, I basically got a Funko Pop for free. Um, but I lauded that much. I lauded that much for this trip, so I knew what I was going in, what I was getting into, and I, I knew specifically that I wanted to spend that much money on Funko Pops. Um, but I did end up getting more than I wanted. So... That was my day searching for Funko Pops. Um, I know I should, I wanted to vlog more, but I just couldn't, and I apologize. Um, but we will be doing the pin video next, and then we will be going to probably going to either Epcot or to Animal Kingdom tonight. So I'll try to video as much as I can there. Um, but thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe so you can come along with me on my YouTube journey. Um, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video because you're going to want to because I'm posting a lot of cool videos. Um, thank you so much for being here and as always, let's go. Do this.